Give us a, a brief recap of how that day was for you. We know that you were in the forefront of uh, sharing updates on the attacks at your polling unit. What yeah. was it like? Started off rough. Uh, you know, obviously going into the elections, everyone was already a bit apprehensive uh, because of our history. You know, history of electoral malpractices, electoral violence, and all that stuff. So everyone was already, you know, uh, a, a bit apprehensive. So when we got there, I was trying to real time feed you know on social media what was going on at my polling unit and just as i was recording uh, a live video a couple touts had you know started causing chaos in my polling unit and i just saw people moving like moving towards where i was and i was moving back you know in regular fashion like what's in the apple where everybody they move like this make me safe move so just as i was back stepping some guy just snatched my phone and you know just ran away with it and i realized that you know, the reason why people were moving is because these touts had come and they were just snatching phones. Whoever had their phone up, you know, remotely recording or doing anything, they would just, you know, snatch because of what they were about to do. They didn't want people to see that, um, you know, and immediately after that, they started kicking ballot boxes, you know, causing all sorts of chaos. And I think they, there was a guy that they really beat up. Uh, they beat him and his mom up. His mom apparently was about, like, 80 years old or something yeah um it was really it was really crazy and i, I think after that the guy and his mom left because obviously you know who's gonna take that um uh it was it was it was chaotic it was pretty chaotic